Godzilla. The anticipation of seeing Godzilla with these monsters could kill me. It's a veritable cacophony of crazy ass monsters. Jesus, how many of these things are there? They put so much effort and love into these characters. My greatest expectation for the film is people sitting in their chairs and looking at this vast world. The concept of a monsterverse goes back to the original Toho movies. So it started with Godzilla, and then they did Rodan, and then they had the brilliant idea of starting to fold these creatures into each other's films. And all of a sudden, it wasn't just one movie, it was an entire cinematic universe. Now we have an opportunity to update and modernize this constantly evolving and growing monster mythology. Michael Doherty is a Godzilla geek. This movie is way bigger than the old movies. Massive amounts of action, massive amounts of monsters fighting with humanity caught in the middle. Michael is obsessed with this world. He's crazy. He knows every single monster. There are so many different monsters, but the ones that are in this film are my favorite. Rodan, Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Godzilla himself. I mean, they're sort of the all-stars of the Toho universe. Oh, shit. As a fan, I didn't think Ghidorah would be in this movie. You gotta be kidding. That's the Super Bowl to a Godzilla fan. For decades, we've been told that Godzilla's king of the monsters. But now, thanks to our interference, someone else has taken the throne. And this Ghidorah is the new alpha, and all the other creatures are just doing his bidding. And that just throws everything out of whack. We have to stop this three-headed crazy dragon. And the only way to is if we side with Godzilla. It's going down. Long live the king. There's a soul and there's a spirit to Godzilla that resonates. and exciting and unpredictable. And I get to be a part of it. <laughs>